Hey, it's Adam, and let's get into it. This video is going to cover how to install the Pi Sugar 2 plugin so you can get a battery percentage with your Pi Sugar 2. So typically, once we had that working, we should have a percentage sign right here. Right now, I'm using a brand new image flashed with aluminum ice 1.8.4, and I have a very basic config file. So what we're going to do is install that plugin. I will show you how to install that plugin and we should have a percentage by the time we're done with this video. So with that said, let's go ahead and SSH into the device. And let me get the right capture up. There we go. Now, this will require the device to have internet access. If you don't, I'll put it up on the screen on how you can do that. Again, I am using the Pi Sugar 2. I have no idea if this works for the 3. I don't own the 3, so I'll just be using the 2. What we're going to do is we're going to come over to this website that has conveniently provided us all of the install directions. So we are going to walk through these one by one. It wants us to CD to this directory. We are already in this directory. Let's make sure we can access the outside. We can. So the next thing we need to do is install the Pi Sugar Power Manager. We'll copy this. I'll go ahead and put sudo in front of that. Right click. And let's make this a little bigger or not. All right, when you come to the screen, if you have a Pi Sugar 2, more than likely you're going to have the two LED version. That'll be the green LED and the blue LED. I'm going to go with that because that's the only one I know works. Now that we're done there, we need to download the plugin and support library. I'm going to grab this one. These are two separate commands. Do not try to run them at the same time. Okay, we'll come here, make the installed plugins directory if it doesn't already exist. We don't need to sudo this. As it already had it. This installs the PySugar2 package into your Python library. Now, if you get an error here trying to install the Python library, take a look at the Python version you have versus what's being installed. You may have an older version and you might have to make an adjustment. And then install the user plugin. Okay, so moving further down, we need to go to the config.toml file. At this point, many of you should be familiar with that. But if not, sudo nano. Let me clear the screen real actually. sudo nano etc ponagachi config.toml. We'll go down here. I'm using a very basic config. Right click. I do Control X. Press Y to save the buffer. And hit Enter. Now, if we take a look here, we can see Pi Sugar 2 web settings are accessible at our regular address, but a different port, 8421. So let's go ahead and visit that real quick. We can see that there is no percentage yet. So the next thing I'm going to do is sudo system ctl restart ponagachi. Switch back over here.
Okay, now as you can see, we have a battery percentage. Now currently that's going to read zero because we are not using the battery. We are plugged into the computer. So let's go ahead and turn this device off. And turn this on. And see if we get a proper readout. And as you can see, the battery now shows 25% remaining. And that is all you need to do to basically get your Pi Sugar 2 battery percentage plugin up and running. As always, thanks for watching. And until then, I'll see you in the next one.